there's lots of things that we're looking at in regards to infertility. And when we look at reproductive outcomes, it's a whole host of things that we can look at. Something that we've been looking at for years is the impact of environmental factors on reproductive outcomes. We started probably back in 2000, 2001, looking at bisphenol A. And part of the reason things are now BPA-free is because a lot of the groundwork that we did um, back in 2000, now we're gonna start to look at things called perfluorinated compounds or things that are in Teflon, things that are in wrinkle gar, things that are in your stain protector. So we're wearing it all the time. We do think that these things might have an impact on reproduction and we're gonna to start to investigate it very thoroughly. We have a great collaboration also with the Harvard School of Public Health looking at menstrual cycle abnormalities. The newer Apple Watches will allow women to track their menstrual cycle. So this gives us a wealth of information where we can start to look at um, characteristics and things that might alter um, menstrual cycles in, in, in certain populations of women. So this is very um, unique and very fascinating and sort of groundbreaking research that we're doing using new technology. One of the things that's always um, interested us is sort of access to care and the diversity of patients that we see who are seeking care in assisted reproductive te technologies or even reproductive surgery. You know, we live in a mandated state here in Massachusetts where if you have um, um, most insurances, it will cover fertility services, yet a lot of women of color don't seek those services for some reason. So is it access issues? Is it where clinics are located? Is it um, fear of seeking fertility care? Is it um, cultural issues? Those are things that we're trying to tease out. You know, one of the nice things about the Massachusetts General Hospital Fertility Center is that we're uniquely situated in the heart of Boston. We're uniquely situated in the best um, hospital that I think in, in the country. Um, and it really gives us resources that are second to none.